So I decided to come back and try to redo this tutorial because I'm getting getting comments saying it's not working. So I'm going to redo it. I'm going to do it more thoroughly. And as soon as this one's done, then I'm going to delete the old one and we're just going to have this new one. Because having one tutorial video where uh, people are having troubles and one tutorial video where people are not having troubles is redundant. So we're just going to have this one as the updated version. You get the idea, okay? I don't need to explain this. This is this is not rocket science. I don't need to explain this. Okay, so obviously the first thing I want to download is the Paper Mario Pro mode. I'll be leaving links. There's no music this time because we're going to do this as quickly as we can. I'll be leaving links in the description below. So, yeah, there's <laughs> no background music this time. I don't know why I had to say that a lot. Okay, so here we go. Paper Mario Pro mode. I'm a, yeah, and yeah, this is going to be try to be as fast as possible. So there we go. So this is the first thing you obviously need is the hack itself, all right? So now you have it downloaded. So we go to our, we go to this thing. We're gonna create a new folder, and you can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna delete this anyway. Put it in here, and now extract. Okay, there we go. And now I also extract the, also extract this one. I don't know why they just didn't bundle everything together, but whatever. Okay, so. That's it. But you also want to download this. Yes, I am going to show you how to download an emulator. I don't usually do this, or not an emulator, ROM. I don't usually do this, but because people have been having trouble and I don't want to leave anything out with this newer, updated version, I'm going to show you. This will also be in the description below. As far as I see, this is not a virus. I, I did download something from here earlier, and it's it doesn't seem like it's a virus. But be aware that there's pop up ads everywhere, so be careful. So here we go. Thank you for downloading. Okay. And now it has to go through this bullshit 10 second timer. Hang on. Download. All right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know why these download things require you to go through a timer. Why when it should just be instant? I don't know why. But anyway, so you, so you click that and this opens. You press okay. And now you just wait for this. Now, while that's downloading, we got to get a few more things. Okay. So and one thing it asks for is, hang on, you see, um, extract if and run, sorry, select Paper Mario, create run, mix for files, install Project 64, and go to config folder and find the file named project64.rdb, so we can just search that up, go to project64.rdb, there it is, that's the file, and we scroll all the way down, and here, here it is. And what you want to do is go to this file, go back to your thing, and go to I think it was I think you said Remy, or hang on, what was the file called? Uh, go to copy the text from R R64 settings, settings, user guide. No, wait, where is it? Licenses? No, hang on. Hang on, wait a second. There's something not right here. Dude, the download didn't come with the uh, Project 64 settings. Hang on, let me go to the my download. Yeah, here it is, Project 64 settings. Why didn't it download this? Was it unnecessary now? That's really weird. Alright, for some reason the download does not come with the thing anymore. That's That's really weird. I did get a comment saying their download didn't come with this, so... Yeah, what the fuck? Did he have an updated version where he decided to just take it out? That's stupid if he did, because people need this file to to do it. Like, why isn't this here anymore? Alright, so I don't know what's going on, but if your download doesn't come with a come with this, I'm going to upload it myself and put it as a download through Mediafire. So that's going to be a thing. So if your download for some reason does not come with this like mine just did, that is really weird. I don't know why I did that. Hang on, let me open this. Okay, no, that's that's my other download. Let me, let me open this. No, it's not in here. Okay, I'm going to open this. Not in here either. That's that's weird. V updated it to not be in. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not in here. Alright, so, for some reason, the download no longer... Oh, shit, that's a lot of shit. Hang on, let me just delete all that. For some reason, the download does not come with this file. So, what I'm going to do, actually, is uh, d upload this text document myself to Mediafire. So, you'll be able to use it. So, yeah, that's really weird, though, that the download doesn't come with it anymore. Hang on, so, what you... So, pretty simple. What you want to do is go back to... Go to your Project 64... 64.rdb. Oops. Right here. And then what you want to do is scroll to the very bottom. And then just copy and paste the text from in here to in here. So that's, that's all you need to do for that. So the next step is getting... Opening the ROM. Okay, there it is. We're going to delete this one. And what you want to do now is do hang on what does it say oh wait we need to do one more thing before we do this you need to download glide 64 which is a plugin for uh uh project 64 so you download this don't click any of the source co source code things this is the main download you download this you open this or hang on for, no hang on first you extract this there we go and here are all the files you need. Wait, hang on. Yes, I believe this is this is what you need specifically. Hang on. Hang on. Sorry, sorry, I keep saying hang on. It's annoying, I know. Download uh, copy files from in the Zimlar folder. So this is it, Zimlar, Zimlar specs. And put them into plugin slash DFX for Project 64. So what you can do is right-click your Project 64 open file location go to config i think no not config uh <laughs> plugins yes plugins gfx and then just uh paste it all into here so so you have your uh zimlar specs open you copy all this you paste it all into here and that's that's another step done now and now when you open it you should also get the option to uh, be able to switch the plugins. So, so by doing this, no, this, no. Try opening a plugin. Yeah, I know. So it doesn't give you the option. So what you could do is try opening the plugin. Immediately end it. End it. End it. End emulation, please. Or, well, actually, no, it doesn't matter. Open graphics plugin. No. Open settings. And now you, you'll get this option. And what you can do is... Oh, it's already set. Glide N64. Alright, there we go. That, that's the that's the one you need. So that's what you need. So just switch. So just go to your plugins right here. And switch it over to Glide N64. And that's it. But, um... But now to now to do the thing now that everyone's been saying that they've been pro having problems with, and that's to uh, turn the Paper Mario 64 into a into the Paper Mario Pro mode ROM file. So we go. I'm gonna put. I'm actually gonna put this in here just for whatever. We're gonna open up. No, not this. Not this. I'm an idiot. We're gonna open up the Star Rod Patcher. And again, this is important note. It has to be this the Paper Mario USA version. Okay, so it's going to ask you for the Paper Mario ROM. And what you do is you obviously click on the Paper Mario ROM. It's going to validate the ROM selection. And there we go. And then you go to the Star Rod Patcher, which is... Or the patch file, which is this one right here. You open that. And then you create modded folder. And, and now it says it's ready to play. So there we go. Here's the, here's the file. And that's it. Now it should it should very much work. I mean, yeah, it's exactly the same, isn't it? Hang on, I'm gonna I'm just gonna do this just because. Go to my desktop just to prove that this works. Go to my desktop. Go to that file. Go to Paper Mario Pro mode, and it should open. And there you go. Now you can play Paper Mario Pro mode. So hopefully. 
Hopefully this cleared a lot of things up. I will be leaving all the links in the description. I'll also be uploading the text document of the Project 64 settings, which is really weird that it doesn't come with that anymore. I don't understand why, but you'll be able to get it separately now, so it'll be a link below, so click all the links and you'll you should be fine. So, yeah. Uh, I d I'm not going to miss any important details this time around because uh, people kept asking me how to... F how to uh, change it. Oh shit, it's still been 10 minutes, even though we did it, I tried to do it as fast as I can. It's about the same length as the other one. Okay, whatever. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.